everyone and hello to all the pageant fans all over the world the universe rather and to my new subscribers welcome back to my youtube channel before we start with today's episode let me just share with you guys the lipstick that i actually used for today's episode see how beautiful it is this is actually the infallible ultra matte lipstick um lay macaroons from l'oreal paris and this is the shade if you like it this is the shade that i used for today's episode of my vlog there you have it so some of the girls no 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 ngayon you can have this lipstick for only 399 pesos and disclaimer muna tayo, this is not a paid advertisement from l'oreal paris okay so if you're not new to this channel, you knew for a fact that hindi mo awal ang pati ang portion sa channel na to because this is something that I always look forward and I'd love to do because for me it's like you know um, a simple way of saying thank you to each and every one of you for your love and for your support and for always watching the videos that I always upload. So let's start now. Let me uh, allow me to uh, greet uh, this amazing people. Okay, let's start with Leonard Makayan, Brian Cabido. Hi to Valerie Gonzalez and Kenneth Edusor. Hello also to Ira or Wilbert Sidero. Hi, thank you so much for always watching. Hello to my ate Shane Hongko Kayanan and to Anisa Tibus for always watching my videos. And um, I want to greet also my vlogger friend Camille Pangilina. You can also check her channel. I'll put the link down below. And to my regular viewers, hi, uh, John Patrick Ramos, Aubrey Bartolome, Archie Samson, Francis Ali Banban, and Patricia Ruth Ali Banban. And of course, to my new and old subscribers, hi, Monique Asian Santos, Christy May Mendoza, Grace Jones, Villa Jane Inorio, Sami Diamla, hello to Alan Bagna, Totally Clark, Ali Handy. Helen Ong and Mario Sandro. And I wanna say, Daghang Salamat sa Imutai, uh, Cheryl Tauro, sa Tumasibuano, Daghang Salamat if there's actually, um, you know, viewers from uh, Cebu City or in the entire Cebu, Daghang Salamat, everyone. Hi to June Lu Basco from Camiguin Island, Journey Boko from Payatas, Quezon City, and to John Carlo Evangelista from the Gaspi City. And to our fellow Filipinos um, abroad, hi Christy Reyes from Dubai, Victor Agunat from China, Gary Rivador, wow, from New York City, the Big Apple, Bonga, and uh, to Makalua, I hope I said the, you know, the name correctly, Makalua from Silicon Valley, California, Rio Silmeru from Florida. Hi to Khalil Papelera, he's actually working in Riyadh, and he said hi. Um, shout out to all the Filipino staff at Sanad Hospital, Riyadh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much guys for your love and for your support and for always watching my videos. And special mention muna tayo to John Irwin Flores. Thank you so much for your um, kind words. Okay. So, um, just to share with you guys, uh, for today's episode, this is quite different on what I normally do, which only means to say that no uh, pageant review or overall uh, performance review for today's episode. Uh, for today's episode, I basically want to address the comment that um, I just read from Esther Swan's uh, Instagram account because um, this is not just the first time that I was able to read such comment. Okay, so you know, you discuss something for today's episode. Let me uh, share with you guys the screenshot of the comment. Okay, so there. I'll also read it to you out loud. The jobless queen is just on case and doing tutorials. The most least traveled Miss Universe in history. And then um, this person also tagged um, Esther Swan. Esther Swan for you guys, if you don't know Esther, Esther is actually, I think, the road manager of every Miss Universe. Um, he said, don't do that to our Queen Fred. If she wins this year or else, you will be uh, bashed a lot. Okay, so same thing also, you know, crossed my mind as to why Catriona's uh, travels are fewer than the past uh, Miss Universe winners. 
Well, first, we need to consider that Miss Universe organization shifted to its new owner, which is IMG. And if you will ask me, for sure, there will be a lot of differences between uh, Trump's era and the new um, you know, owner of Miss Universe, which is the IMG, which is a talent agency. Well, for me, um, Donald Trump always prioritized in business when it comes to you know, when it comes to Miss Universe, so that's maybe the reason why there's a lot of, you know, the past winners of Miss Universe um, during his um, era traveled, you know, a lot or fewer than the current, um, you know, owner of the uh, Miss Universe um, organization. So why don't we take a look back on Pia Works Back Reign as Miss Universe under IMG. Pia Works Back first traveled abroad was in Indonesia to shoot for a TV commercial for your UC 1000, then she traveled to Canada after that to do some fundraising event and was able to meet some of the candidates during that time for Miss Universe Canada 2016. Then sometime in April of 2015, if I'm not mistaken, Pia was invited to judge Miss Peru pageant. Then she also made an appearance to the annual Machala Parade in Ecuador, then in Panama. After that, she traveled as well to uh, Cayman Island where, you know, she graced the Miss Cayman Island uh, 2016 during that time. So, and lastly, last travel was actually in Dubai or the United Arab Emirates. Now, let's talk about Catriona Gray. The new Miss Universe is... Take your first walk as Miss Universe. It's been um, eight months of her reign, but this Miss Universe only traveled four countries. So Catriona Gray's first travel abroad was in Indonesia to shoot for a TV commercial, just like what Pia did for UC 1000. Then sometime in March of 2019, she traveled back in Indonesia to crown the new uh, Poteri Indonesia, who will compete in this year's edition of Miss Universe. Then she traveled in Canada to do some fundraising event uh, for Bantai Bata and was able to meet all the delegates for Miss Universe Canada 2019. So in June of 2019, Catriona Gray was invited as you know to judge Miss Universe Thailand 2019, wherein she crowned Pawin Suda Drewin as the new Miss Universe Thailand 2019. Same thing happened in August 10 of 2019, wherein she was um, invited to judge Miss South Africa 2019. Catriona Grace actually expected to be in Dominican Republic in June of 2019, but her trip in Dominican Republic was canceled because the Ministry of Tourism of Dominican Republic and the Miss Universe organization failed to make a mutual agreement. So sad. Catriona Gray may be the least traveling Miss Universe, but Catriona Gray is the busiest and has the most number of charities and organizations that she worked for. After all, being Miss Universe is not being measured on how many countries you visited or attended to crown a new Miss Universe from whatever country she came from. But it's all about your good works, how many charities you helped, how many causes you raised, and most especially, how many people you inspired during your reign. So that'll be all for today's episode of my vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this short episode here in my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you're watching this video right now, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. What are you waiting for? Just click the subscribe button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me say thank you so much to all my new subscribers, especially to my old subscribers. 
thank you thank you guys so much i really appreciate each and every one of you till next time i love you all